Hello, in this video I'm going to show three dilution problems, two of which are milli equivalents per milliliter is the concentration, and the third one is going to be percentage. So let's get started. The first one asks, how many milliliters of a 20 milli equivalent per milliliter potassium solution would you need to add to get 10 milli equivalents and 500 milliliters of normal saline? So. In reading this problem, you would have to know that the stock concentration is 20 milliequivalents per milliliter. So we'll say C1 is 20 MEQ per milliliter. V1 is what we're interested in, how many milliliters, that's the prompt. C2 is actually these two numbers divided by each other. So it's 10 milliequivalents over 500 milliliters which equals 0.02 milliequivalents per milliliter. So that's C2 and V2, of course, is 500 milliliters. <clears throat> okay, so we set this up. C1, V1 equals C2, V2. This is going to be the standard dilution equation. And then just plug and chug 20 milliequivalents per milliliter is equal to our 0.02 milliequivalents per milliliter times 500 milliliters. And then when we solve for V1, we're going to multiply these two numbers together and then divide by this number. And when we do that, V1 equals 0.5 milliliters. Okay. And for the second problem, similar except I'm actually interested in the amount of final volume that it can be produced from a given amount of stock. 25 milliequivalents per milliliter is the stock concentration, so that would be C1 and V1 is going to be 16.5. So in this case, the stock concentration and the stock volume are given. And this is how much I have, this is all that I have, how much uh, of a five milliequivalent per milliliter sodium solution could be made. So V2 is the question mark. C2 is five milliequivalents per milliliter. And so I just set it up, my units, 25 milliequivalents per milliliter times 16.5 milliliters equals five milliequivalents per milliliter times V2. And then for this one, you multiply these two numbers together and then divide by this five over here. And what you end up with for V2 is 82.5 milliliters. All right, let's move on to the last problem. This problem is a percentage problem. It says, what percent solution would result if you added 100 milliliters of a 14% sodium chloride solution weight per volume to 625 milliliters of water? So this is sort of a tricky problem because you have to know that the final volume is the combination of the two. <clears throat> so, our stock concentration is 14%, our stock volume is 100 milliliters. So C1, 14%, no need to change any units here, because we're interested in percent at the end. V1 is 100 milliliters. V2 is 100 milliliters plus 625 milliliters because this is going to be water plus the stock. So you have to add those two together. So the final volume is 725 milliliters. And then C2 is the question mark. That is the unknown. 14% times 100 milliliters is equal to C2, which is our unknown and 725 milliliters. 
And what you end up with for C2 is 1.93%. So if you had 100 milliliters of 14% solution to 625 milliliters of water, you're going to end up with a total volume of 725. And the concentration of that new solution, that diluted solution, will be 1.93% sodium chloride. Okay, I hope that was helpful. See you next time.